Let's have a look into what are the other indicators of national income accounting apart from GDP. They are GNP, NDP and NNP. So what is gross national product in simple term? It is defined as the total value of all final goods and services that is produced by the residents or citizens of a country regardless of their location for a period of one year. In simple terms, whatever goods and service is produced by the citizens of a country India, no matter they are staying within a country India or outside, which means abroad in any other country for a period of one year, will be taken into consideration in India's gross national product calculation. Whereas in GDP, we saw that only those who are staying within the domestic territory, their contribution will only be taken into consideration for India's GDP calculation. It also included the contribution of foreign nationals or foreign citizens. Whereas in gross national product, the contributions of foreign nationals or citizens who are staying or residing in our country India will not be taken into consideration. It only focuses on the citizens of our country. Whether they stay within India or outside India, that is not a problem. And now, when somebody is staying outside India, whatever they earn or produce, definitely they will start sending money to their family in India as well. For example, I am working abroad in Japan. I may send money to my family in India. That's called as remittances, right? And that is again called as net factor income from abroad or NYA. In economics, income is represented by the alphabet Y. That is why it is written as NYA. So now net factor income from abroad means the income earned by country citizen in other country minus the income earned by foreign citizens or residents within the domestic country or let's say India. So this is the meaning of net factor income from abroad. And that is a part or a component of what gross national product. So the formula for calculating GNP is GDP plus net factor income from abroad. All what you have to keep in mind is GNP and GDP, they are not the same. In GNP, the importance is given to the country citizen, whether they operate or stay within a country India or abroad or outside a country India. Their contribution will be taken into consideration. But that provision is not available in the context of gross domestic product. That is it. Having said that, the next important topic of discussion is net domestic product. So, so far we were discussing about gross, gross, gross. For example, a person is having 30,000 rupees as his or her salary. Now, that 30,000 rupees is actually called as gross amount. Now, once the salary gets credited into your account, you are eligible to pay a tax. Automatically, the tax gets deducted by the employer called as what? TDS. Tax reduction at source. So you may get only, let's say, for example, 27,000 in your account. This amount is called as net value or net amount in simple term. But what is the real salary of the person? 30,000 rupees. But once the money comes into the account, it becomes only 27,000 rupees. Something is included or minus, right? So here it is tax because I gave you the example of what salary. So similarly, from the gross or the total amount, when something is included, it could be tax, it could be inflation or price rise, or it could be depreciation. Then the value of gross changes and that value is called as net value in simple terms. Similarly, when we study net domestic product or net national product, you can see something is getting minus or something is getting involved into the gross domestic or gross national product. So as to get what? So as to get net domestic and net national product. So now 
Net domestic product means the keyword net is there, right? It is also defined as the total value of all final goods and services produced in a country minus depreciation. So now depreciation is basically here the meaning of depreciation is wear and tear of a machinery or an asset. For example, a washing machine is costing again let's say 30,000 rupees when you purchase today. After one month or after one week there is a small repair in the washing machine. The motor of the washing machine is not functioning properly. So for the maintenance and the repairs you are paying 5,000 rupees. So now the total price of washing machine is again what 30,000 rupees but now for the repair you are paying 5,000 rupees. That, that repair is actually called as what? The depreciation charge. So the total value of the washing machine becomes to 35,000 rupees. Now, if you want to sell this washing machine, can you sell it for 35,000 rupees? No. It will be a second hand or a used product. So the value decreases to what? 20,000, 15,000, whatever it is. But now, this depreciation shows what is the extra money that you incurred in order to maintain the product. The more you use a product, more repairs, maintenance costs, etc. keep on occurring, which actually decreases the value of a commodity or an asset or a product. And that is called as what? Depreciation in simple terms. Having said that, from the net domestic product, when you minus depreciation, that shows that, okay, this is the real value of what? The country's NDP. So, thus NDP is equal to GDP minus depreciation. So, now you can tell that gross and net. Net is much better or net is much realistic compared to gross value. Then why are we not measuring net domestic product of different countries? We are measuring what? Gross domestic product or GDP of different countries. The reason is because... Depreciation is a component or a factor that is different for different countries. Every country has different rates of depreciation. If you see in India, the depreciation rates are fixed by Ministry of Commerce and Industry. And whereas in some other country, by that particular country's respective authority or government. So having said that, because of this difficulty, we cannot use net domestic product as the best indicator of measuring the progress of different countries of the world. Even today, we use GDP to measure the progress or growth of different countries. Now, having said that, the last one, that is net national product. In simple term, net national product is technically called as national income. The same definition of national income, which is nothing but the total or the final value of all goods and service produced by a country for a period of one year. That is net national product, including what? Including depreciation. So now your net national product is equal to NNP is equal to GNP, gross national product minus depreciation. So this is how you will calculate your NNP in simple terms. So I hope these concepts are crystal clear for all of you. So now whatever doubts or queries you have, feel free to put them as a feedback in the comment box. Yes. So stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you and Jai Hind.